Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to take a quick look at using templates. Now templates are really useful because they save you having to repeat the same operations over and over again. So quite often you'll find you use a similar kind of tracks, similar balance of instruments and effects etc and you don't really want to be repeating that work particularly when you're feeling inspired so often it's quite nice to have everything set up and ready to go. So we're going to look at that. You can see here I've got a blank project which I've I've not saved, but we will we will see why in a minute. Uh, just going to set up a couple of uh, instruments here. So let's just set up um, maybe hmm, let's just set up a prologue and maybe um, a couple of towel bass lines, etc. But you get the idea. It doesn't really matter what you've set up because it's going to be the same for anything and then maybe we'll add up some uh, a couple of effects tracks so we'll just put in a Roomworks etc and that kind of thing and everything about this will get saved so we'll just load up um, a long snare etc and so on and name this you get the picture now the 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 thing about this obviously isn't what I've actually set up here it's that we need to save it as a template. Now this is where it's important. So rather than saving it as a project we just go save as template here and this is where uh, the magic happens as it were. So first thing is content summary. So we can we can put some information in here. So let's just create a new preset. We're going to call this uh, my template here and then we're going to go to content summary and we can put some stuff in here if we want to. So I'm just going to put this uh, an initial template. Now probably most importantly is putting them in a particular category so I'm going to put this in production but this just shows where it comes up when you um, create a new project so I've done that there we go that's saved in there now I'm going to close this project we haven't saved it as a project but we have saved it so uh, when we come to make a new project here we will see that under production there it is my template but it still works in the same way. So the reason this is important, rather than just saving a project which you then open up and then use that as your basis, is because when you save it as a template, it still prompts you to put it somewhere. So we can make this in a new folder here. We'll say uh, template project, and then it gets put in there. And there you go. Everything's exactly as it was. Um, and every time you do that, it will work. And most importantly, because you're not opening up just a normal project, you're not going to end up with loads of audio files in the wrong place, etc. So it's it works much better than that. So if you find you're using the same things over and over again, or perhaps you know you need the same settings in the mixer over and over again, so often you'll find that you may need to bring down your uh, output level or maybe put in a mastering chain, etc. You can do all of that really quickly by doing this in templates, and they will save you much more time than it takes to save the template.